Hello, my name is Jennifer and welcome to my Willow Creek Library Renovation Speed Build video. This is part of a battle collab arranged by Havana Sims. I participated in the previous battle collabs by her. This time the focus, as I said, is Willow Creek Library. So the Willow Creek Library needs a major renovation. There has been an outbreak of asbestos and someone saw a ghost knocking down the books. The mayor has enlisted your help in making a more modern library for the citizens of Willow Creek. So there were certain rules which are up on the screen. We had to keep the shape of the build. We were allowed to add, remove, change windows, doors, fences, gates, landscaping, staircases, and columns. And we had to keep the third room floor. We could use it or not. That was our choice. We had to include a kid's room, a cafe, a reading nook, and a painting area. And we had to make sure it remained a library lot type and we had to save one of the bookcases as well and we weren't allowed to use vampires and my first pet stuff now the renovation is due at the time that this video is going live and we um there is going to be a poll for everybody who's in the collab this time it's havana sims carrie plays b ray sunny ashuria Marie Simulated, Sweet Pea Simmer, Lilac, Lydia Dietz, and of course myself. Now there will be voting. I will leave a link to the poll down below and voting will end on June 25th at which time the winner will be announced. Havana is going to be touring all of the renovations on her Twitch channel later on today at 2 p.m. Eastern. That's June 22nd if you happen to be watching this after the video released. So one interesting thing about having to save one of the bookcases is that the library in Willow Creek comes with certain bookcases that you can see there. And those are the bookcases you need to be able to have your Sims read the uh, level one skill books or the skill books, the first, first set of three of the skill books. Any other library doesn't do that and you actually need to use a cheat to get it. It's not even found in uh, the buy debug. It's not a hidden object, it's just not available. Or you can get it from uh, the, if you don't happen, if you happen to be building a library and need those books, I actually have a room on the gallery that has those two books and you can just stick it anywhere on the lot. The Sims don't even need to be able to get to it. Um, it'll make the books on the lot operate that way so that when your sims visit they will have the access to all the level one skill books now with respect to having to modernize the library i decided to concentrate more on the inside versus the outside i did change a little bit on the outside you can see that it's already gone by but i added some railings i figured you know to get it up to code it's kind of high if you fell off it wouldn't be so good so i did change a little bit but mostly the outside was remain left the same as it was i also decided just to keep the library bookshelves as they were because when i was looking through the bookshelves that come in like the build buy mode I didn't think a lot of them really suited a library per se. They just, they looked like they were home. <laughs> they looked like they were bookshelves for home and not at a library. So I decided to keep them. You may have noticed <laughs> at the beginning there, I added a basement and I decided that I was going to indeed keep that top floor room, which isn't used in the regular build and make it an, and eventually use it. You saw me putting the staircases in a little bit a while ago and here we are on the basement the basement is where I decide to put the cafe and a kids room a little toddler room and a, a homework room and an office for the librarians as well as you know some bathrooms down there and a kids play area sort of outside that's what that open area that's open to the sky is it used to be like a seating area but I changed it and had it come down to a lower level to let some natural light into at least some like the two front rooms down here uh, I usually like to do that if you're going to have a basement that you're playing in. It's nice to get some natural light by you know, essentially having a walkout area or you can put a pool. But I didn't want a pool. It's a library lot. It didn't make a lot of sense. So it made more sense to like essentially make that little park area instead of... It used to just be a seating area and I actually make it a little playground area for kids. Now a little bit of the background on my own sort of added to the story is that I had a sim that I was sort of doing a like little rags to riches she was a writer and she was there she spent lots of time at this library with her toddler and um, she got some uh, a windfall of a home that she got put in and it helped her you know get on her feet so she wanted to pay it forward so she's contributing 
<laughs> little background to the build and, and putting it there. So she was keen on making sure it was toddler friendly because she spent so much time here with her toddler, you know, because they had nowhere to go. But now they're all set doing better and wanted to pass that on. So down here, I end up putting essentially two public bathrooms kind of thing. And the other one is still accessible because it's going to be off of what becomes the, uh, the study area for kids. And, uh, but the reason it's a, there's a shower there is it's kind of meant to be sort of like a staff room. So if I was using this for a rags to riches challenge, I personally wouldn't use the shower because the shower is not something that would normally be, normally be on a library lot, but it was more just for the functionality of, you know, sometimes people do have sh showers at their work bathrooms. It's not, you know, not everybody has them, but occasionally they do have them. So they have access. So that's why I only stuck it there. And it's not in this like more main public area area that's out here and of course this is the um the wall covering is from jungle adventures and the floor was from spa day so this is where i put the cafe so i put a fridge there but uh and you could probably get quick meals from the fridge and again if i was doing a ranks to riches i wouldn't use it for that but it's more for sometimes i just come with play testing things which this is play tested I did actually play test this so it was nice to have the ability to do these things and I do move the table a little bit because right now you see there's no extra um, chair there but I move it over so that there is actually six chairs at that table in the end so I'm just putting some pictures up <laughs> cutting out a little bit of like took me some time to make some decisions and it's a big build it took a lot of time to do this and the alternative was I could have like sped it up really fast but I don't know about you I wouldn't even be able to watch this if I had it so fast so I have to like only speed it up so much and then I have to cut stuff out to make sure the video is not too long and um so yeah I couldn't put anything underneath the stairs there because I did not use move objects I've been trying to not use it as much because it el helps with not having to play test quite as much so that was um, kind of why but I really like the like I said she wanted it in the background and she wanted it toddler friendly I often take my toddlers I play with toddlers quite a lot in the game and I like to take them with me when I go out so I like to make sure the areas that I'm visiting with my sims are toddler friendly make sure there's potties there you know things for them to do I don't normally this ends up having like a sleeping area for the toddler sort of like it's like a mini daycare kind of thing where they might be able to put them I wouldn't normally do that but I just thought that in this case I thought it was sort of kind of fitting and when I was playtesting it came in very handy because I brought a toddler with me and the toddler needed to go to sleep so I had the toddler go to sleep in the bed versus just having the toddler nap so it was handy from that perspective but again if I was doing a rags to riches and they were in the rag stage I would not use the beds but it's sort of nice for when I'm not doing that just playing other things and just doing normal play that it would be handy for me but it's just a small little area in there and it's not really taking up a lot this is a big space this ends up being quite a like it ends up being going from being two floors that had stuff on it to being four floors that have stuff though of course the third floor is just a small area it's in the roof kind of thing and it stays that way I didn't change the roof at anything I just um it changed a little bit with the roof I put end up putting the glass tile don't do it in the build because I did this build before Island Living came out but there's that glass floor pot tile and I put it in the roof to give some natural life coming light not life <laughs> light coming down from above and there's a little puppet theater so that your children your kids can play in it and build their social skill and then toddlers can watch they do like to watch and it will help build their imagination skill which is kind of a nice thing and that little little doggy goes because I decide since I'm building on a public lot I can use the little bunny that normally you have to find all of the Easter eggs to unlock it or use a cheat obviously that works too and then I thought since this was a kids area it would be good to have a um, those play those void critter battle stations here because I had originally I have renovated this before just for my own personal play but I've never gone to the extent of like adding a basement and and using the top floor I've only just kind of renovated the first floor a little bit and I had expanded what is originally like a small kids area which I end up making a toddler area but not like sleeping just like a toddler area for like some toddler toys and stuff like that mainly because when 
If you have younger toddlers or toddlers with lower skills, it's actually not that easy for them to come downstairs. They have to be level two of movement to even get down here or, or get down here on their own, I mean. But it's not like it's hard to get to level two, So, but I want to make sure there were some things for toddlers on the main floor so that it's like they have something they can do somewhere they can go if their movement skill is not very good. But I have to say when I play tested, the toddler came downstairs <laughs> to use the ball pit because I finally like to use that autonomously. Funny thing here, I don't actually use desks very much when I'm doing my builds. I instead prefer to use tables. And um, at one point when the thing gets expanded, I will realize, or I think when I go upstairs, that's what it is. When I go up to uh, renovate the toddler room, I get rid of what, what I have become the toddler room, but was the children's play area originally. I um, got rid of the two desks in there, which is like I was thinking this was sort of the area for them to do their homework down here. And they, um, <laughs> you need three desks on a library lot, top, lot type. So I ended up changing that desk in that office to become the table to an actual desk. And then I add two desks elsewhere, but I prefer to have the tables just because generally that's what I prefer to do. So I just have some decor area out here. And uh, I figured it this brick matches like the foundation brick. So I thought it kind of made sense to have that be like the wall down below because that's the same as the foundation on the existing library, which is what is there. Um, Cause I didn't change, like I said, I didn't change the outside very much. I do change the pole. I don't change the poles. I change some poles inside. I uh, Columns, poles, whatever. Columns. I don't change the columns on the outside. I kind of think that, you know, the look that's there suits the look of the main street and Willow Creek. So I didn't want to change it too, too much to make it too different. So like I said, my idea was more like brightening up the inside so that it's like not quite so dingy and dark as it was before. So, and I get rid of the original doors, use the doors from seasons I was thinking of putting the door over there but uh, I, I leave it where it was but this door is like a one tile door versus the door that was there was a two tile door and um, that bathroom I cut out the renovation of the bathroom there but um, it gets renovated too and I always like to have a door out the back there see that's where I'm like oh I, I'm missing a desk so I go and I change my table that I had used and make it a desk <laughs> where you can see there so I use quite a lot of white to lighten up the build so that's kind of white and blue and sort of I don't know um, I'm not very good but it's not green green but it's sort of like a bluey green ends up getting up there which I did off camera because I changed some of the the second floor I changed uh, a little bit I keep it similar but I added end up adding a fireplace up there because I remember that I had wanted to <laughs> I like fireplaces with with, with um, seasons in particular, but I use the I end up adding the white fireplace that comes with parenthood. I quite like that one. It's not so dingy and dark looking, but uh, and then some nice light curtains that are bright that was the best I could <laughs> I could find. It wasn't exactly what I wanted, but you know, it it did. And there's a toddler bookcase in here so that there's toddler books because that's the bookcase that the toddler books come on. I don't know that they are. I've never really looked if the bookcases that are the ones that are the special ones that give you the skill books, if they also come with the toddler books because I've never really paid attention. And since I put the toddler bookshelf on the library on in here, it means that they're on the library. So whether it's because of that or because maybe the other bookshelves actually do have it, perhaps they do. I don't know. So um, just, these are my favorite rugs to use for toddlers. There's some other ones that are cute. I actually like the ones that come with my first pet stuff, which we weren't allowed to use because that wasn't um, a pack that Havana has. So I just stuck with, you know, the old familiar, those ones. So you, you saw them probably in all the different rooms. And then I, I use that. It's from Laundry Day, but I just thought it looked cute. And I put a couple of the Wabbit tablets out. I used the Wabbit tablets specifically because I didn't want Sims using the regular ones. So there was the before and the after of the uh, bathroom. So I turned it into like essentially three stalls instead of two separate bathrooms. I just... Uh, you know that way it's a little bit more privacy and hopefully people don't go and have conversations in there because sometimes I find they're just like hanging out in there which you know 
not really ideal when it's like not even a stall it's like an actual bathroom where you go in and use the toilet and whatnot and so I use those same tables there as I did downstairs but I ended up changing them to white because they were blending in too much with the floor which didn't really matter because I ended up adding rugs in the end but you know and then that uh chess table that I use there I change it to uh, one that has like a white later but I did that off camera because like I said this video was already pretty long as it was so I wanted to shorten it a little bit so in the reading nook I'm not sure I have a lot of little nooks so maybe those would be considered reading nooks like there's all sorts of spots and when I was playtesting like the library was busy people were coming they were using they didn't use the upstairs room, which you'll see at the end that I do, but they used the basement, the main floor, and the second floor quite a bit. So here it is. Just the floors brighten up the whole place, I find. And that... <laughs> the middle area right there, where is like the two little chairs and the light, that's where I end up switching that out and, and making it um, with a fireplace and, and actually using one of the love seats and a chair instead sort of under the stairs kind of thing not fully because you can actually put them all the way under the stairs without using the move objects cheat but um yeah but that I did like I said off camera so here I wanted to add an extra chess table because when I come in there's it's changed you see that I had changed it but like I said I was took me a bit to do it so I just cut it out and there it is I added some painting outside I um put in the <laughs> The wind chimes, my favorite thing, except for that if your sims are gloomy, they, I think, get uh, angry. Or that's been my experience. But up here, there's two more easels. There's no wind chimes. So if you have gloomy sims, they will be fine up here in this sort of creative area that I added. Essentially, music and and um, the the easels and the woodworking table. I end up, that's the, the uh, music mix master station from get famous I also add the yeah move that because I realized that that was a good spot where I had put the woodworking table was a good spot to put the um, video station that comes with I don't know if you can use that on a public lot to be honest I've never really tried because it does store things so I'm not really sure how that would work I just sort of thought it was kind of a fun idea and I never thought to play test it I'm just thinking that now <laughs> I wonder if that worked and I end up changing the railings in here to match the railings that I put on the balcony. Because even though there were no railings on the, the first floor, the ground floor, I did add railings. Um, I changed the railings that were there on the upper floor. And then I had put those down below. So here we are. Keep, we're still working on here, adding some paintings. I didn't change the wall in here because the wall that's got that uh, siding, that's from the outside because it's essentially kind of... I was thinking it was the roof. And that's why I left it like that. But now that I think about it, I probably could have possibly could have changed it. But it just struck me that it was maybe from the uh, roofing area. and Because I've had issues with that where you just have to leave it as the outside. So that's uh, so I did <laughs> regardless. And then I am pulling those out just a little bit to help me be able to put those against the wall. And then a couple of rugs just to like, you know, set it off. And then a little that vintage gla glamour rug. And of course, a gate to be able to go out downstairs from outside and be able to go out easily. And I changed some of those decor items and decided to add a mural. And I changed the wall to be a different color so it was sort of stood out a bit more and wasn't against that brick in that particular location. And then I just changed the, the floor, the ground down there. So, and I do add a carpet, but I don't know if I did that off camera. And I like to have a festival thing so that if you're in the city, if you're in, you know, the suburbs, you can see and there's a festival come and they, they're supposed to, you know. So that's where I end up putting the desks, actually. That little area which has the different bookcases, that, that in my mind is the area where the um, the librarian would sit and return when you return your library books, that, that's what that is. And so I put two desks there. There was one desk there and I stuck two desks there and put a little magazine rack. And so that's why I thought those sort of looked like, you know, when, you, when they're sort of stacking the books behind and they're not quite as neat. And that's what I did there. And then I added a... Uh, an aquarium here just for kind of fun and some plants but um, I think we're actually getting pretty close to the end of uh, the renovation or everything that I showed I put some ceiling fans there and then I decided to add that's for where you can busk for not that you need it you can just do whatever 
you want. And then I added a microphone up there, which you can use for different skills, acting, comedy, and the singing, of course, if you have the respective packs for the acting and the singing. So and I just changed the pictures around a little bit. So that's really kind of it for that. We're gonna end with some screenshots. That's the before. As you can see, it's not that much different after. There's the after at the front, but it's a little bit different. And then we'll see the before like top going all the way down. You see the little skylight, which is the roof flooring thing that comes with um, and the empty room, <laughs> the, the roof, the glass tile comes with island living and the completed room afterwards. There's the room on the second floor as it was, kind of dim, much brighter, lighter colors. And then there's the original floor where most people used to hang out because that was where anything was and now there it is now and there's the added basement with the play area which I added some rugs out there which come with toddler stuff and then there's just going to be a number of before and after shots of of the room so so as I said this is part of a battle collab that was arranged by Havana Sims and uh, she will be touring all of these uh, everybody's builds on her Twitch and there will also be a link I will link as soon as I have it the playlist for everybody's builds so there will be eight in total including mine so you can see what everybody did and uh, the voting link will be there so you can vote for whichever one is your favorite um, but uh, <laughs> it's a lot it's a big build there was a lot a lot a lot of um, <laughs> pictures and I, as it was I just wanted to like show at least kind of a picture of everything but there still ends up being quite a few now this is on the gallery I don't remember what the price is but since it's a community lot it doesn't really matter that much but um, it is you know it's it's essentially the lot the library that is already in Willow Creek exactly that build so it's 30 by I think I already said the size a lot and uh, if you have all the packs it's kind of a fun one I even put a smoke detector in there and a fire alarm so if kids use that and set a fire hopefully it will get extinguished easily so there's all the details of it on the gallery I'll just sort of it we'll just sort of scroll through and show the different floors that you can see I will link to the build on the gallery down below and there will be links to everybody's channels and their Twitter and whatnot in the description down below go check out everybody's videos go vote for whichever one is your favorite but that is going to be it for this speed build video. Thanks very much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye. This has been Jennifer. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them below. I'd love to see them. If you liked the video, please leave a like. And if you'd like to see more videos of challenge, let's plays, tutorials, and occasional speed builds, please subscribe if you haven't already done so. Thanks very much.